I still remember life before the war. I remember that we used to be different. Used to live up there, on the surface. We used to be the masters of the whole world. We built gigantic cities of glass and steel. We crossed the oceans at will. And we also conquered the skies. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for life in the tunnels. I was born to breathe fresh air, and I remember it. The seven billion were wiped out by the last war. Only 50,000 managed to survive underground, with the surface poisoned, burnt, and teeming with horrible monsters. One day, the radiation on the surface might subside, and our grandchildren, or their grandchildren, might be able to return there. At least that's what my brothers in arms from the Order believe. Basically, there was no hope for us right off the start. Still, we humans are just too bad at surrendering. We tried to make the best of what we had, banded together, and worked to make the Metro our new home. After all, it might well be the only place left on Earth for humans to live. For a time... But, regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. In the relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festered. And when danger came from above the ground, only a few of us stood against it. Our numbers dwindling by the day. But I remember we were born for a better life. And I can't accept that I'm destined to grow old and die underground. I don't care if I'm called an idiot. But if even a single shard of the old world still exists out there, I have to find it. Between endless years of hopeless existence and even a single moment of hope, I must choose hope. I must find that signal.
Left across the square. Oh, hey, Demir, do you think the colonel knows what our tomb been up to here? How am I supposed to know? Ask him yourself. He radioed from the ring, said he'd be here tomorrow. Hey, you, leave him alone. I killed him myself ah, with my slingshot. Let him learn to stand up for himself. How else can he hope to survive in the natural? Rise and shine, people. Hang in there, Artyom. You gonna get a fresh dose of Spartan blood now? Oh, 
John, are you awake? It's okay. The doctor said you'll be fine. Are you trying to kill me with worry? What if next time you don't return from the surface? There's no one out there, Artyom. No one to find, no one to talk to. If there was, don't you think they'd be here already? We've talked about this again and again. You have to accept it. There's only us. Colonel. Hello, Alex. There you are, you stubborn fool. How many times are we going to have this conversation? I don't care if you kill yourself over this silly dream of yours. But don't you see what you're doing to my daughter? Your wife? Dad, please. The order is short on men after the battle for D6. But you leave. People need you. And you pursue your selfish obsession. But now this shit has to stop. There's only Metro. Nothing else. And the Order is here to defend it. Because if not us, then who? <sighs> you look fine to me. So, get ready to go. Then, we'll discuss your transfer to Polis. Come, we need to talk. I'll get the doctor. Artyom? Please, promise me this was the last time. I'll see you later. Artyom, we managed to bring you back from the brink, but people are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back irradiated. Don't you think that is unfair? Let me put it this way. I can't promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. Still, lucky those Spartans are damn good. They brought Archeon here just in time. They sure are. I cannot remember the last time I saw one to help me. Nah, me neither. Spend so much time on the surface. Huh? Well, sadly, it's their job. <laughs> well, job or no job, if they keep doing that. Well, not everyone can stand being cooped up down here. Huh? And why not? It's what's kept us alive up to now. <laughs> huh. All right, now we'll find us. How many kids are there in the In the old metro? Who will be left I left the order. Place? And now nobody gets to decide for me. Ask for Artyom. Oh, I can't believe my eyes. Artyom. Yeah. brother. Artyom. How are you, friend? I Pardon see you're me, all right. Gentlemen, give way. This calls for a celebration. Artyom. A few more scars and you will be completely irresistible to any woman. Speaking of which, Alyosha, how you are the nurse in the hospital, huh? You just stop crowding him. <sighs> Brother. Well, back up, Joe. Ah, uh, uh, previous dark time. All right, you're all dismissed. I give you two hours, people. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Oh, yeah. it's official. Yeah. I knew it. You guys are like so kids. I brought something. And here we go again. <laughs> Please, let's not repeat the last Hold time. Hold on, Artyom. I can hear is that Geiger counter ticking. <sighs> Why, yes, and there's also those damn things calling all the time. Let's go home, dear, please.
Don't you think I'd also love to live on an ocean beach or in a green forest? But what good are these fantasies in a silent world? Silent, Artyom? Because it's dead. We took our time. Time to replace our filters. Move it. We don't need any extra radiation, darling. Oh, father will kill me if he finds out I went up with you. Twice if he learns we've been to a Hanta off-limit zone. Have you been to all these ruins? See all the destruction. And Moscow had the best anti-air defenses in the country. If this is how it looks now, imagine how the rest of the world looks. There's just no way anything can live up here with the monsters. Look, maybe you should come back to the Order. We'll move to Polis. Dad says he'll arrange a flat for us. Because if not us, then who? A flat. With a kitchen and a shower. Let's go in turns here. It's not stable enough. Careful. At least it held. Well, I'd say we're out of the woods. why this zone is off limits to stalkers. The radiation and beasts are nothing special. Stop. The pack is here. So, do we turn this place into Thermopylae, or do we let them pass? Wait it out. Looks like that is all of them. I'm glad they didn't notice us.
let them pass. Wait it out. Looks like that was all of them. I'm glad they didn't notice us. That was a large pack. Oh, is this why the zone is off limits? I mean, if all the packs here are like that. Well, we take the bridge to cross the railroad. It would save us a detour. Damn, too high. Hey, Hatyam, help me get out there. You should have checked first, assholes. Artyom, thank God. These people, they're Hansa, not the Order. Assholes. Oh, they did a number on you. Well, Dad will rip them a new you one for that. what's going on in this Moscow of yours, anyways? Of yours? You're putting this like you're not from here. We aren't. Our village is about 200 kilometers from here. What village? You're not from Moscow? Just a regular village. We came here to find the boy's father. Left for Moscow about a year ago and never came back. But then we got caught by this here. You mean there's life outside? Why wouldn't there be any? Sure, there are lots of bad places and lots of beasts around, but we still get by. Artyom, you were right. People really do live out there. We didn't know. We thought we were the only survivors. God, we'll tell the whole metro about this. The heck and the boy out! Hey, you people drove us halfway to nowhere. They can handle it. At least give them their masks back.
damn watchmen broke through. Those workers are done for. Keep your weapon trained on the opening gun. If anything comes through, shoot. What's that noise? Attention! The turntable is switching on. Guys told him they cure her. That's how he got hooked, as he told me. First, they had him transport railroad repair cars, and then switch to the shadow boat. Get the money out of your whining, you old fuck! You're going straight to the ravine if you don't shut up. Now listen, if you come out of here, we won't accept this shit again. Okay? for interrogation. I can't take you to the main entrance. Too many guards. But we may sneak in from the back. Let's go. Don't rush, though. If they notice you, we are both done for. Wait. You'd better not walk into the light. Let's do it this way. You sneak to the lighting panel and the same Don't rush. Move crouched. It's quieter that way. See that ladder? Try sneaking to it now. Stay close to the wall. Irmak, is that you? What are you mumbling? Come here and help me fix this. Yes, sir. Got me over here. Wait. You'll have to take it down. Can you do it quietly? What's with that mumbling?
Oh, you're Mac. Yeah. Wait, wait a moment. Wait. He's looking this way, and we need to get to that door. Try distracting him. Look, there's some garbage around. Throw some. Great. Now throw it. I hope the noise distracts him. Well done! Sitting there. We must get out before they recover. Get ready, Guards! You have to go sneak through the courtyard. Take the door the guards are coming through. Here, quick! Let's go! Who are you? I'm Brian Wallace here, the train engineer. Run now! Just get to that hangar, then God willing, I'll get you out of here. So I get there easily. Why are you helping us, Andrei Ivanovich? I had. Uh, ah, uh, I guess I'll tell you later. I hope. Uh, hey guys, be careful. What's going on? Hey! Hey! <laughs> Artyom, 
I see the enemy. Give me a boost. Can't really see well with the snowstorm. Don't forget your visibility gauge, Atyon. If you don't move too fast and don't come out into the light, you'll be harder for them to notice. Don't turn your flashlight on either, they could notice. Atyon, incoming two of them. I'll give you some cover from above. Let's go see what the...
That's for sure. It's the outside gate. That's for sure. It's the outside gate, so it could only be Watchmen. Am I glad to see you here? Are you all right? I'm fine, thank you. All right. We don't have much time. They'll be back. I'll go to the engine. It should be ready now. You go up there and Come switch on, the Jim. turntable mechanism on. And please, be careful. We could easily have the whole base on us. Thank <laughs> you. 
lad base. Over. All right, shoot these two. And as for the engineer... Oh, what do you mean, shoot these two? Is Don't the you right dare right give me a lift, soldier. The colonel will give you a piece of his mind now. Colonel, sir, we have a situation here. Honor! Dad! Guys! It's us! Help us! What the hell? Hurt you? What are you doing here? Talk about sir. Colonel, this will mean court martial for all of you. All right, everyone, shut up! I can't believe this. Just can't believe shit! So this is true? You're working for them? The bastards shot Artyom! Be quiet! They... How did you end up here? Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. You have no idea what you just stuck your heads in. We've no moves left. Hansa can't take this line down. No shit, the watchers won't let No, I won't be quiet. What is this jammer for? Why are they hiding the fact that Moscow didn't survive alone? There, what in the ravine, about, there are people from what other cities, dead. All Everyone of them, women, up. children. I'll tell you all later. Everything. Gramps, what's going on out there? Down this road. The road is fine, at least until a hundred click mark. Is there a safe place to stop nearby? Of course. We have to make haste, though. They called the cruiser. All right, gentlemen. Artyom and Anna have just made a huge mess, and I can't go back to Moscow now. The wartime legislation dictates they be killed. In any case, I have to get them out of town until it all blows over. But you all should stay. Hear me, Major? My people are in no way related to it's not my this call, and you know misunderstanding. Well, I'll job. fight for the guys no matter what. Of course, Artyom, Anna, they are the with us. The no one behind. Alright, Spartans, throw these overboard and full steam ahead! Come with me, Artyom. Let's catch them there. I'm so glad the boys supported us. It looks like my father didn't say a word to them about this either. We spent 20 years in Metro, thinking the rest of the world was burnt to a crisp in the war. But they just circled Moscow with those jammers, and we were none the wiser. How perfect of them! While you were getting irradiated on the surface, my father just kept lying! Lying to you, to me, to everyone! The whole fucking world! And not even batting an eye! Me? A traitor? 
You tell me, where are you taking that train, huh? On a simple joyride? No, I see only one answer. You've been fought and you're running back to your master. So the verdict has already been passed. We won't even see a trial. Cut that shit out. What are you carrying, man? Defense plans? You want to buy yourself a seaside retirement with a life, you damn cripple? Plan? Treason? We have served you people without question for years! We have spilled our blood for the cause! You sold out! They destroyed us and you! I have been a soldier my whole life! I have dedicated my life to my people, my country! And I'll be damned if I give it to parasites like you!
now we are not just traitors. We are honest to God enemy saboteurs. We stopped a hundred clicks from Moscow to check our Geiger counters. The thing is, they are all in the green. Still, this amazing piece of news doesn't really impress anyone that much. The guys are all confused as to what to do next. And I... I'm just waiting for answers. And hoping the commander, whom until recently I trusted implicitly, is going to be extremely persuasive in his reasoning. Why the long face? We are at a crossroads, so to speak, where everybody can help but wonder. What next? Where do we go from here? Hmm, yes. More or less what I expected from you. But you got the picture. So, is your counter functioning? Have you checked it? Yes, it's all green. Double checked it. Stepan's in the green too. We don't need masks here. So, they were telling the truth. Who was telling the truth? Why won't you answer? Who are those people trying to kill us? Why would they shoot at you, the Order's commander? Explain something, at least! You owe us that! Well, I might as well drop the bomb now. The war did not end. What do you uh, mean, what? did not end? Let me finish. Most of our cities are destroyed. The rest of the country is probably under enemy occupation. To avoid new nuclear attacks against us, command chose the only viable course of action. To play dead. To ensure radio silence, the shield system was created. A network of radio jammers covering Moscow and suburbs. So that some radio enthusiasts wouldn't bring more bombs down on our heads by whining on air. And it's one of these jammers that got disabled by the hands of those present here. Could you not have shared that before? Say, before Artyom took that radio outside and caught all that radiation? No! I only got briefed half a year ago. Under a strict, you talk, you die policy. And then had to tell my people we were securing a weather station. Sir, with all due respect, if we can't go back, maybe we should advance and move on? I have an idea, but... Artyom, rather than carrying on with this silent disapproval of yours, check the airwaves. We should be out of the jamming range by now, so give it your best try. Look for transmissions from the Ark. <sighs> Do you understand now why we are traitors in the eyes of command? We shut down a jamming station, shot up the guards, destroyed a patrol train, and ran away from Moscow. Who even needs a trial when the case is so clear? There's no way back now. Which means we have to continue moving forward. Command, what are you talking about? The Moscow Defense Command. Have you ever heard of the Invisible Watchers? I have, but they're just an urban legend. Not at all. They are command. Are you sure they care for more than just protecting their asses? You mentioned the Ark. What's that all about? If our team finds their signal, you'll figure everything out. Otherwise, there is nothing to talk about. Do you think finding that Ark of yours is going to fix everything? I do not. But if you have a better idea, then go ahead. Yes, I do. We have to find a good place for people from Moscow. Like... Wait a moment, what was that? Listen, everyone! Here should go uh, like this. This is our goal. So, is this what you had in mind? 
Yes! This is it! The Ark Project is a whole city underground. Enormous stores, machines, the best experts. It is the Commander General's HQ. All of the country's leaders are there. They have already started the restoration work. We will tell them that Moscow is alive. It wasn't all for nothing. Everything will change, everything. Do you get it? A new life is starting for all the survivors of the world. By the way, are there any single women in that place? <laughs> Great reaction. So I think the moment calls for... Hmm. Bring it out to me. Bring what out, Colonel? Sir? That thing that's been sloshing about in your canteen. <laughs> you think I'm deaf or what? Ah, that. Uh, just a moment. I, I thought my ears were deceiving me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a short trip to the Urals, so we should make ourselves comfortable, I guess. Let's name this bucket of bolts at the very least, eh? It's about time. Let's go around and be done with it. <laughs> nah, go to hell. <laughs> Even better. Oh, come How on. How about Aurora, the Roman goddess of dawn and a cruiser of, uh, uh, you know what? That's better. <laughs> Not bad. I like it. Ah, beautiful name. Sounds okay, but the cruiser of what? Yeah, I'll tell you later. Looks like it's decided. <laughs> Let's drink to the Hey, Artyom, let's take a look at that map. All right, we had a round. That should be enough. Get back. Full steam ahead. Hi. Full steam ahead. Wow, that's some distance. I wonder how long it will take. Sure you're okay? Because I know you. Just so you know, scars attract the wings. So, dear Moses, can you feel how sweet the air is without a mask? But not just sweet, so many shades of taste it has. A weird feeling, I am a friend. I remember you telling me how you took your mask off a top of stock in the dark. When you won those missiles in on the dark ones, was the air bitter then? Who knows though? Had you not launched those missiles, you'd probably never have climbed that building or received that signal. Life is weird. Huh? One random event drags another with it, like links in a chain. And you are pulling that chain out of a deep, dark well. The links emerge from the dark water. And what link is in that bucket that's on the end of the chain? That's a mystery. That's what I often think about when facing a choice. You can't drop the chain either. You always have to drink from that bucket. Well, bottoms up, I suppose. So, how does it feel to be the Moses who yanked on this particular chain? <laughs> Is it dumb to think about such things when all I ever did in life was carry out orders? Well, I'm not called idiot for nothing. Still, I would like to know what's on the end of your chain. They said they needed me to teach their recruits, because the war was still on. 
Don't you think I was shocked? What did other people in these six die for? What did I lose my legs for? But I understood. Because the war was still on. Security was paramount. Our people would have understood. It's please, do the same. He would have spilled the beans to everyone in Metro. Goddamn Prometheus, a messiah. You must lead the people out of the caves. Do you think you would have saved anyone? Remember that jammer? What if Moscow has been found out because of you? What if there are missiles inbound? Anyways, no matter what they think of me, I'm no deserter and will never become one. I'm ready to bear full responsibility for everything. But if there is even the smallest chance to earn my pardon, I will take it. Which means that we, like a running retreat, need to keep running ever faster just to keep balance. I don't dare you trip us all over again. Am I understood? I hope I am. Anyway, at least now we know where to run. So, go back inside and take a look at the map. Our route is pretty obvious now. After all those years in the underground, the air of the surface seemed incredibly fresh, intoxicating. But that was not what had caused the crew's euphoria. Our journey finally got a definite purpose provided by the transmission from the government bunker in the Urals. For 20 years, we thought that neither the government nor military high command had survived. Turns out they're still around. Where were they? while we were eating each other alive in the metro. We'll have a lot of questions for them once we reach Yamantau, if we reach it. The ruins of our country are under enemy control, according to Miller, and we'll have to fight through to our goal. A small team against the occupation armies? What are the chances that we'll succeed, that we'll get some answers?
throws anything off yet, darling? <laughs> Here, let's warm you up a little bit. So, what do you think our chances of getting to Yamantau alive are? It's the only thing on my father's mind. How to earn his forgiveness, get back to Metro and his old life, the life you had always been running from. And to think, I never believed you. And now I'm looking at this fog, thinking it could actually be hiding our new life from us. By the way, we should be approaching the bridge soon. Damn it! A campfire! People! There are people there! Hit the bridge! Four bogies on a trolley! Sure. I was expecting to run into them much earlier. The trolley is headed towards the bridge. Some fortifications there. This looks peaceful. A village and a church on the water. We need intel. Here, Artyom. I put a mark on your map. Get there and find out what you can about that bridge. Taking a prisoner would be ideal. Anna, you cover him. Yes, sir. May I go with Artyom too? As backup? No. Until we figure out our situation, you are not to take a step away from the Aurora. These two can handle themselves just fine. Yermak, when can you get the Aurora running again? I don't know yet. I'm gonna check on that cylinder, but a full day at least. I see. Get to it then. Spartans, let's prepare the Aurora for a defensive action. Let's go, Come Artyom. On. Come here. Get the perimeter. I'm on yes, sir. Duke. I need you to recon the immediate area. Got that, sir. Idiot. Artyom, go don't forget your me. backpack. Yes, it's a new model. A portable workshop, so to speak. The manual is inside. It doesn't come with crafting materials, though, so keep an eye out for those. Let's move out, Artyom. Just be careful out there. Sure thing. I gotta say, that was one flimsy roadblock. And those guys, well, they didn't look like army men at all. Just old men. Be careful out there. Remember, most of the country has been destroyed or occupied. Even those who speak our language might be enemies, by conviction or out of fear. Do you hear that bell? We must have given them a good scare. Maybe they served the enemy. Enslaved or something. Ah, that was great. I've had it, Artyom. I'll be waiting at the power line tower. Come back when you've wandered enough. <laughs> 
care for a little snack. Fuck you. We get the gold, you drink. The fuck? Simon, the bridge is done for. The fanatics have taken over. I was prepared to give them a quarter of the cargo, but they wouldn't even hear me out. Wanted me to leave my diesel first and fuck that noise. I'm not pushing the platform without fucking handguard or 200 clicks. My attack deep in the red, though. So I'm sending search to you with this message. Sell the diesel to the brothers. They were offering good cash for it. And get that.
Thank you. Thank you. Ah, these devils called me on my way to the house of the fish. I had a penance from my father, Celandius, and so I got about halfway, and then this got me. Uh, oh, I, I see you're one of the heretics. But I tell you anyway, there is a cash here on this island. There is a device, but we can use it. It's a sin, but you could. I'll just have some rest here before I go back. I'll keep praying for you to this starfish for the rest of my life. It might save your soul.
We're in deep shit! Alright. I'll check everything here, just in case. You bitch. Just you pick out.
Just let me see you, bitch, and you're fucking dead. The fucker's down there! Show yourself. You bitch, just you pick out. I give up, man. Like, really? <laughs> I don't fuck this shit like this always happens to me. 